biggest flowers in the world. Flowers have beautified the landscape of this planet for millions of years. Plants succeeded in using their flowers' deceptive development using color and smell to attract insects and animals for successful pollination. There are many fragrant and beautiful flowers on Earth, but many of them are similar in size, about 1 inch to 5 inches in diameter. But when it comes to visibility size, and bright colors play as important factors to attract insects. Smell too is an additional characteristic for plant reproduction and, there are many best smelling flowers. However, in this post, we are listing down only those plant species with an only size advantage for their flowerets. These are the top 07 biggest flowers in the world. Number 7. Tree Peony. Common peony is an exquisite flower but, its bigger counterpart, the tree peony, is a very different plant. Tree peonies are woody shrubs, with no support, as some grow at 10 feet high. They have many forms, colors, and fragrances, and their flowers are much bigger and typically bloom about two weeks earlier than herby peonies. Chinese use them as decorative ornaments and for medicinal purposes. Number 6. Common Sunflower. Sunflowers are mainly from North and South America, and some species are cultivated in farms for the spectacular sizes of their blossom and for their edible seeds, to make sunflower oil or can directly be eaten roasted. At least 6-8 hours of direct sunlight per day is needed for the sunflowers, the better if you try to maximize their potential for size. The excessive blooming of gigantic sunflowers is difficult to top. On towering stems, the Russian variety opens flowers up to 14 inches in diameter, 9 to 12 feet high. Farmers generally sow seeds in spring while they harvest the crop at the end of summer. If considered usability, sunflower is the biggest flower in the world. Number 5. Puya rimandii. Puya rimandii is the largest bromeliad species, with a height up to 15 meters and is also known as the Queen of the Andes. We can find this type of plant species in Bolivian and Peruvian forests from the high Andes. The flower can reach a height of up to 30 feet, 9.14 meters, which contains 8-12 million seeds per plant. The queen of the Andes in the wild have only three populations. There are thousands of species comprising the bromeliad group, but Puya rimandii has less genetic diversity. Puya rimandii is currently on a verge of extinction because of the inability to adapt to climate change and deforestation. Number 4. Neptune grass, Posidonia oceanica. The Posidonia oceanica, which is also named Neptune grass, has been sequenced by a group of scientists to be around 200,000 old seaweed covering ocean floors from Spain to Cyprus. The plant has roots, twigs, leaves, flowers, and it creates fruits known as sea olives. It should not be confused with algae. It flowers in the autumn. The leaves are tape-shaped, measuring between 1 cm in width and between 30 and 120 cm in length. This aquatic plant lives in the Mediterranean Sea and in certain areas south of Australia, with similar characteristics to dry land. Among the many strengths of Neptune grass is that it oxidizes the oceans and is also a food source for many animal species its appearance also shows that the water is of good quality and is well stored. Biologists often term Posidonia oceanica as Mediterranean's lungs. Number 3. Talipot Palm. Talipot palm is one of the world's largest palms, having origins from South India. It has a height of up to 25 meters and a diameter of stems of up to 1.3 meters. It is a palm fan with a diameter of up to 5 meters, a petiole up to 4 meters, and around 130 leaflets. 
The Talapot palm has one or more million small flowers, the largest inflorescence in any plant, 6 to 8 meters long, on a branch trunk stitched on top of a trunk. The Talapot palms are monocarpic, which means they flower only once at the age of 30 to 80. Talipot palm has many uses it is as useful as coconut in its native region, and talipot fruits, which are surprisingly tasty, are known as ice apple. Number 2. Rafflesia arnoldii. Rafflesia arnoldii is the largest flower in the world that has a diameter of over 3 feet. It is also known as Rafflesia tuanudi or stinking corpse lily or corpse flower and is one of the largest living organisms. This parasitic plant is steady, not visible until it is about to bloom, with no roots, stems, twigs, or leaves. Buds arise over months to the size of the cabbage without a sign of the contaminated host plant. Corpse flowers bloom too has a rotten corpse smell, more intense than Titan Arab. While the flies gain nothing from the flowers, the pollen sticks to its back as they rest on the bloom. Attracted by its rotten meat scent, when these flies pass into a female flora, the pollen is released in the flowers so they can fertilize it. Its produced fruit has thousands of seeds and is fleshy and small. Such fruits are consumed by tree shrews, which then continue to disperse the plant seeds by excretion. Since Rafflesia is a unisexual plant and an uncommon one, flies sitting on a male's bloom and bringing pollen from that flower have low chances of sitting on a female bloom and passing pollen into female for fertilization. Rafflesia arnoldii is one of the world's most endangered plant species. The International Union for the Conservation of Nature IUCN, classifies certain Rafflesian species, such as Rafflesia magnifica, as critically endangered. Rafflesia's two primary factors contributing to the extinction of these species are the limited geographic area of this species and deforestation. Number 1. Titan Arab. One of the world's largest and rarest flowering structures, the corpse flower is a pungent plant that blooms rarely and only for a short time. While it is in bloom, the flower emits a strong odor similar to rotting meat or, aptly, a decaying corpse. There is a good reason for the plant's strong odor. It all comes down to science, said Tim Polak, outdoor floriculturist at the Chicago Botanic Garden. The smell, color and even temperature of corpse flowers are meant to attract pollinators and help ensure the continuation of the species. Polak explained that dung beetles, flesh flies and other carnivorous insects are the primary pollinators of this type of flower. These insects typically eat dead flesh. The smell and the dark burgundy color of the corpse flower are meant to imitate a dead animal to attract these insects. Corpse flowers are also able to warm up to 98 degrees Fahrenheit, 36.7 Celsius, to further fool the insects, Polak told Live Science. The insects think the flower may be food, fly inside, realize there is nothing to eat, and fly off with pollen on their legs. This process ensures the ongoing pollination of the species. Once the flower has bloomed and pollination is complete, the flower collapses, 